Orthodontics is the field of science that deals with the alignment of teeth and jaws, as well as with tooth movement. The position of our teeth within the jaw depends on many factors. These include the size of the jaw, the strength and shape of the periodontal musculature, and the teeth themselves. Thus, for example, the lower teeth in patients with a large tongue are positioned further out, and a crossbite can be the result. In patients with strong masticatory muscles and a wide jaw, a so-called edge-to-edge bite may result. In individuals who lost their baby teeth early due to caries, jaw growth may be slowed down, resulting in crowding of the adult teeth later in life. Optimal teeth development will hopefully achieve two things. Firstly, of course, an attractive aesthetic look. And secondly, damage to the teeth and the masticatory apparatus should be prevented. The extent to which a malocclusion can potentially cause damage to the teeth needs to be determined by an orthodontist. If the flaw is merely aesthetic, orthodontic treatment might not be absolutely necessary. There is a distinction between fixed braces and removable braces. More on that in the video about braces. Most malocclusions should be corrected within a period of one, two, or three years at most. Waiting any longer than that either points towards practitioner inexperience or the practitioner's desire to make a little bit of extra money. This latter suspicion is usually confirmed if the practitioner asks to be paid by the year rather than by the treatment. Before treatment with braces is carried out, all groundwork should be completed. If you'd like to find out more, please watch the videos entitled Conservative Dentistry, Endodontics, and Periodontology. A reputable orthodontist will make you aware of all of these facts. If he or she doesn't, we recommend you get a second opinion. After treatment has been concluded, a retainer is sometimes used in order to prevent any possible reverse movements of the teeth, especially if the eruption of the teeth led to a malocclusion, as described by the so-called angle class 1. You can find out more in the video entitled Retainer.